Hey everybody, we're watching Tarin TV right now, so I'm very, I'm so excited about what he's gonna ask me in in order uh, fitness and health, wellness and all this stuff, and we're gonna start soon. <laughs> Okay, folks, we're back, as you can see, side by side here on this Monday, December the 7th. We're welcoming Freddie of Fit Peru. Freddie, welcome to today to Go Terran TV. What's going on, Terran? Colleague, we work in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Now, Freddie, thanks so much for your time coming on here. Where are you right now? It looks like an interesting uh, backdrop there. Yeah, it's, I'm in the cabin. A friend of mine owns it, and he lives actually here in this side of uh, town. It's very nice. It's all natural uh, trees. The river is down the street, and uh, it's, nobody's around here, actually. It's like he's like isolated, isolated, way, way isolated, and he lives with four dogs and he's happy he, he chose to live that way in the nature that's good i mean it, it, it looks yeah. it, it looks very um you know tranquil very peaceful but it looks like the beginning of a horror movie like a scary movie when i'm watching you right now <laughs> well <laughs> i'm telling you at night it's no nothing like a noise no 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 there's not even a light outside you have to have a flashlight to go through it and you never know why you're gonna bump into it because there's a lot of Raccoons, I don't know, bears and deers. It's, it's pretty much wild. It's a wild. It's like going to the zoo in the, without any fence around, you know. So you have to fight for your life. It's amazing that we've got a good connection here too. That you've got Wi-Fi available as well. Oh yeah, this 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 <laughs> this little cabin is fancy. I mean, outside is the nature, very rustic, but inside. You have the whole amenities, you know, you got internet, you got cable, hot water, I mean, <coughs> everything is just, yeah, yeah. He, he lives pretty much comfortable here. Uh, it's not, it's nothing like depriving, it's more comforting and outside is not much uh, uh, interaction with um, other people because they live like, uh, five blocks away, uh, I don't know, half a mile away from each other. I mean, yeah. it's interesting, yeah, because he owns kind of like a huge land and everybody is doing the same around this town, you know. That's and You awesome. have to drive up like six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and before we were starting, Freddie, before we recorded, you were telling me uh, about the name of the uh, program. What is that all about? What's entailed in it, too? A program about the brotherhood? Yes, brotherhood program. I forgot the name of it. Yes, thank you. Well, it's it's a circle, like it's very, very private. Yes. Like a um, friend of mine, uh, and he got the idea to put it together. Like uh, his other friend is a spiritual uh, guide. Okay. And, and they try to get a kind of mindful people, guys mostly, and male figures in the group to uh, bring their own thoughts in the spiritual life and, you know, um, and try to share with everybody else and uplifting each other mm -hmm. and help each you know, spiritually, mentally sane and, and um, yeah, um, and try to put everybody in the same kind of level of uh, consciousness. No, I like that. So that's that's very idea. nice. Yeah, yeah. that's great because we're always focusing yeah. on the outside of the body and you know, getting fit and good shape, like muscles and working out. But not enough times do we talk about the inside, uh, inner healthing, uh, inner uh, wellness and health and well-being. So that's good. I like that. That that was a good point though that you brought it up because in that circle there's uh, some people they do yoga, some people. Very active, uh, doing car. Uh, what is this? Um, carpool, you know, mm -hmm. jumping around. Sure. Yeah. Uh, some are martial arts. Uh, you know, they practice any kind of sport. And 
mostly because it's a manly sport. Mm -hmm. You have to develop muscles and be like really robotic sometimes yeah. because you develop some muscles and get you in that position that you are not flexible enough, you're not loose enough. So I brought my part, which is more density and flexible, flexibility. Oh, okay. I try to get a bit loose, you know, so, but you cannot push nobody because you got, you got a choice to do it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if I show that many choices, you are the one, they're going to pick the right choice for you. It might work, it might, it might not. <clears throat> so just try. It's all about trying. So that's our point. Just let everybody be themselves yeah. and pick the right choice. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me some more information about that, Freddie. So that way, I can come out there and try it sometime. Uh, I'd like to get up there. I've never been to LJ before, and uh, you know, uh, that'd be a lot of fun. So that'd be really, really good for me, I think. Yeah, I, I was about invite you because I think you're gonna be a good fit in that group. Oh, thank you. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, but we thinking about doing that circle right here in LJ because mostly it's in, in Atlanta in downtown by my friend's house. Oh, okay. He's hosting. So it's a very close private group that knows their, where they're going. Yeah. And, um, it's very close. So we were thinking if we we're going to do a trip all the way up here, so we have to put it together and, you know, maybe do a little carpooling. You sure. Know? Yeah. Some of them drive. It's going to be cheaper and convenient no know? yeah absolutely that makes a lot of sense that's good i, I like that I, I, have you been up there before or is this your first time up there lj yeah oh many times it's so close it's like 45 minutes driving from the city oh okay it's i didn't know it was that close okay i see is it up 400 oh, yeah yeah 475 it just okay. goes straight uh, i just <laughs> Yeah, put my GPS and just go straight. And, Very cool. And Georgia has so many places, so close that you can just jump into your car and drive out and just be out of the pollution and traffic yep. and a little stressful life. And away but, from work too. Yeah, away from work. If you call it work, because if you love what you do, it, it's your passion. It's not work anymore. You That's a good I mean? point. You're money right. Comes, Absolutely. Yeah, because money comes from uh, the consequence of your act of what you do. So uh, sometimes, like most of the time, you don't have to think about that. I mean, like, like uh, uh, when when you are on the date. You always have the expectations, you know. Mm -hmm. There's no expectations for anything. So you, if you want to give it away, just do it. Yes. Yeah. And there's a, a point in your life, in the time, that you're going to give it, you're going to receive that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, in response of your actions. So it's not like expecting nothing from nobody. If mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you, I don't expect that you're going to hug me back. You might, you might kind of be surprised that I will hug you, you know? So we were talking about that uh, uh, a special topic about uh, the touching and uh, the way that you approach people. Mm -hmm. uh, because we are men and shake my hand and yeah, I just shake your hand and you push me away from you. Uh, um, a space in a, yeah. in um, culturally, I I don't do that. Right. <laughs> we are more we are more open. Like I open my chest, my heart to hug you like this. Yes. So I like here. <laughs> so Terry, you have to hug me right here. Right, I'm and I'm gonna, here we and go. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna feel your heart beating against mine. There we go. Yes. There we go. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That we, we so, <laughs> you you know what I'm talking about? The, the, the feeling of your heart beating against mine. Yes. This is, this is an interaction of energy. Absolutely. It's an exchange energy. And this is so powerful because you're just feeling good and breathing into it. It's not like a bumpy mm -hmm. and uh, brotherhood. Hey, what's going on? What's up? Yeah. Like, 
the high five shit. I don't, <laughs> I don't buy that. Exactly. You know? So maybe, um, no, it's true. It's true. It's in, it, it's true and accurate mm -hmm. that that closeness with people, it works. Huh? Yeah. No, I like that. That's good. If you're willing to open your space, if not, I respect, I back up mm -hmm. because I know for the fact you gonna uh, mark a territory uh, limits a borderline. It's okay. It's okay. I think yeah. that's very insightful. Far too many people, especially in America, we get really just kind of uh, not, not trusting and kind of just already off standoffish, like, well, what's that person trying to do? I don't really trust them. And I think that's really good, like you said, just the positive energy. I really believe in that uh, law of energy and just, you know, good energy feeding off good energy, karma, um, things that, you know, you do that are good, they're going to come back to you tenfold. I really do believe there's value in that for sure. You believe in karma? Really? <laughs> All that kind of stuff, like the good, positive energy, like the law of attraction. If you put good stuff into the world, you're going to get it back out. You know, I really think that's good. I think that's yeah. excellent. Yeah, that can imply expectation too, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If you put it out there, you're going to give it back. This is kind of expectation. Yeah. Like, Deep down, it's an expectation. That's true, yeah. But it's not come from within, though. Like, I just want to give it away because I feel like doing it. It's not like a, I have to do it in order mm -hmm. to get back later. So it's, a, it's I don't know, it's just a, an expectation, hiding mm -hmm. expectation, even though you're not thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Consciously, deep down, you think about it because it's more, yeah. it's, it's a convenience. Monetary or, you know, feelings, whatever involves in that interaction. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's true. I have a, a good analogy is if uh, when you hold the door open for somebody and they just walk right through and they don't say thank you, they don't acknowledge you, or you just they just keep walking by, it's kind of, uh, we foresee that as being rude because we're expecting a thank you. Or exactly, just, yeah. exactly. So. But it will be great and appealing uh -huh. when you open the door somebody get through it and turn back and say thank you that's better it feels like oh my god uh-huh and i didn't expect that i just opened the door because that's what i way i was raised or that that's that's me you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. but you're gonna judge anyway you know because you're expecting that's yeah yeah, so, or assuming, assuming, assuming. can be fixed. Right. So, yeah. don't, I'm not, lately I was like kind of erased that word in the thinking about my mind because assuming can be a bitch and <laughs> it's not, it's not accurate because you mm -hmm. should, you should know certainly what, what's the truth or what's going on, you know, without that assumption, assumption and think about, you know, what is true or not or false or I want to know right now what's going on. Yeah, it's a communication. Yeah. Communication is key. Communication. Yeah. So yeah. every relationship based on communication and honesty works mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. big time. Yes. You girlfriend, father, mother, neighbor, everything. Even with animals, with the dogs. You honest, they smell you. <laughs> they smell you. <laughs> They got the sense of smell so high, they can see, they can tell that it's something going on with you. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm truly, I'm accurate in those words because I felt it here because my friend has four dogs. <laughs> Double bands and two miniatures, Italian, I don't know what's the name of it. <laughs> it's amazing how they perceive yeah. your sense, the feelings, you know, you're sad, you're happy, Oh, you are angry, you know, they smell you and they can tell. They, yeah, it's very, it's interesting. They're very smart. They're, they're very, very aware. Uh, it's amazing. Yes, 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 yes. I like yes. that. Now, what else does the trip comprise of? Like, uh, w when did you get there? How long are you there for? What do y'all do during the day? You know, what, what does that all entail? Okay. My choice, because it's a long weekend, you know it. Yeah. 
like your choice was going to Alabama. You're in Alabama? Where are yes, you? Yes. Yeah. Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama. Yes. Okay. Yes. So because my close friends, they are not much into the celebration mm -hmm. of these festivities, like the Turkey Day or sure. Eden. Uh, and I'm very sympathetic with that because mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not doing that. Right. So I'm not stuffing myself. And then complain <laughs> about it, like, oh my God, I got sick because I got too much sugar. And, <laughs> I, and trust me, I've been there, I've done that. And now I was like, Greg, let's go to the mountains. Let's go. Let's go. Get the back backpack. It was last minute. Church. Let's go. And it was a good choice because we hike, we eat nuts and dry fruit and all this. Uh, easy to digest, mm -hmm. easy to just carry on and keep awake your mind and, and not being as sluggish and heavy, uh, you know, and just walk around and appreciate every, every part of the nature or everything in the river, the trees. And um, it's just uh, keeps you aware, keeps you aware, awake about everything around. Your senses are heightening. So I was uh, really glad that I have the choice mm -hmm. for this long weekend. And uh, we don't eat the feast. We cook the necessarily what our body needs. Mm -hmm. So at that point that he was asking me, why you drink? You don't drink much uh, water. Well, because my body is different than yours. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like drinking. Why should I? I'm already moist. <laughs> and he was laughing. <laughs> I mean, our body is seventy percent water, True. right? Seventy, seventy-five percent water. That's a good so point. you have to keep that level. If your body, if you listen, to your body. If your body needs uh, a sip of water, not like shoveling all the bottle, mm -hmm. you just need to rinse it off, and this is a uh, refreshing, and that gives you the idea. Sometimes it's the placebo idea that you are thirsty, mm -hmm. but you're not. You just need a little splash on your mouth, and that's it. That's all you need, you know? Like, you don't need a big plate of turkey and smashed potatoes. You don't need a small portion during the day, and you're ready to go, ready to go. So that's my point, and, and I'm glad I'm here. Every time that I, I got a, the chance to go out of the city, I'm coming here, or oh, just drive five hours to Florida hmm. and jump into the water, and, ocean because water all the elements fire water earth mm -hmm. is so important for you uh, uh, the whole uh, healthy and wellness also your well-being don't you think oh I agree completely yeah I totally do now so we've gotten past Thanksgiving and into December what about for Christmas and for the holidays do you go to any of the holiday parties or get-togethers, anything like that for Christmas coming up? Well, I mean, uh, I'm social, you know. We are social mm -hmm. animals. We are social creatures. And I'm very open, you know me. I'm very uh, extroverted. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm the weirdo. <laughs> I stand out. I stand out. That's the word. I stand out. I'm not playing the same game. You know, I yeah. I kind of switch it up my way because I think that fills me up. Mm -hmm. It works for me. Yes. So I usually, yeah, I try to keep away from the city a little bit and going, well, this time I'm going to my country already and I take two of my friends. I call friends, not clients, actually, because okay. I train them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and they, they are just ecstatic. They just motivated by you know they start learning some spanish they're ready to you know get some codes because it's we're going to the mountains by you know machu picchu yes it's absolutely. one of the seven ones in the world yes uh, so been there one time and i don't mind go again <clears throat> and the city is amazing it's very uh, uh, there's a lot of people from all around the world mm -hmm. it's like a babel Mm -hmm, Everybody's mm -hmm. talking different languages, and it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm going with them, and I'm gonna spend my, my 
Well, Christmas I'll be here, but I'm flying on New Year's Day, the same day. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, in, up in January it's going to be there, yeah. It's, it's hot. It's, it's a summer time. So you are here snowing and celebrate Christmas in the snow. We celebrate on the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. with our skinny speedos, really enjoying <laughs> outdoors. Much better to be down there in January than up here in the cold uh, during the winter time. So, uh, one of my other clients, um, he just recently got married. I, I think I may have introduced you to him. Uh, his uh, husband is from Peru, down in a place called Iquitos. Have you heard of that? Oh, that's the Amazonia part. It's, uh, uh -huh. it's hot. Yes. Yeah, it's close yeah. to Brazil, and and I think I met him. Here. Yeah, what's his name? Luis. Brian? Ah, uh, no, Luis. Oh, but... Bill. You met Bill. Yeah, I met yeah. Bill. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, cool. So, so he's going back uh, in about a week to uh, Aquitos, going home because of the weather, like you said, uh, to enjoy the nice warm weather. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's smart because you know we are. I'm not get used to that cool. Uh huh. And I'm more tropical, south, hot. And it's it's just your my body just tell me that you know switch yeah. it up. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, but we but we human we we can adapt. Mm -hmm. You know that's, mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm here. This is my point of return. So I can go anywhere in the world, but your body adapts. You know, and that's uh, that can be challenging for people that are not local. Mm -hmm. Because food wise, season weather wise is gonna change you mm -hmm. inside out is your system is gonna sometimes gonna collapse and you're gonna feel it how react how you can react your body and 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 me for example i, I i'm a, adapt to to this um kind of um cultural clash I call mm -hmm. it sure. because too much fast food here everything is easy um easy to get it but uh the laziness of not walking to the store it's just like everything is driving around you know so that is the big problem here because the uh, people are obese mm -hmm. they got serious health issues cholesterol mm -hmm. you know so all these uh, uh, illnesses is just coming along with the way that they really treat their body eating not properly, sleeping, not properly, um, the basic stuff, you know? Yeah, you yeah. said it right because, uh, and you live it too, because I've noticed you uh, ride your bicycle from home to the gym uh, when you go teach your class, so you definitely live it for sure. Yeah, but it's, it's your choice. Yeah. So you know, if you know that is beneficial for you, why just don't ride a bike or just jog is one mile away, so my I my body is itching if I'm not moving. If I'm sitting on my ass, I was like, damn, I need to stretch. Like now I'm sitting and I'm al already doing some dips and you know I stretch or whatever. Oh my goodness! So, Whoa, is that your leg? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's my leg. Jeez. But that's not right. The left is a little more. Crampy. Oh my goodness! Look at that. <laughs> If I tried to do that, I think I'd have to go to the hospital, emergency room, and go into traction if I attempted something like that. Sorry. That's so important. That's so important. As a trainer, as a trainer, I know you're, you're open-minded because we were talking with Max, too. So when he took that, that dance class with me, I was, like, motivated, motivated by him. Like, I can't believe you just jump into the class and shake because a trainers are mechanical yes, you know, most. yes so what about just go out of your comfort zone and do something yes. different and you're gonna prove it you're gonna prove to yourself that doing some different movements movement mm -hmm. is gonna change the way that you carry yourself mm -hmm. so, and then you're gonna see oh that worked for me it might work for my client so you're gonna encourage them mm -hmm. to do something different mm -hmm. besides doing the press chest, the leg extension, and all this machine that keeps you just tight. Tight is good, mm 
mm-hmm. because you fight the gravity, but you're missing the most important thing in your training or whatever movement is is the energy, the shakiness, and the release of, of the all this uh, stress, whatever you're putting into the training, because mm-hmm. it's a stress. You put a weight on your shoulder, you're tight. You need to shake it out, like, <laughs> shake it out. Get crazy. People are going to see, oh, that guy is crazy. No, they're crazy <laughs> because they don't do that kind of beneficial things for them. For themselves you know try if it works works for you maybe for somebody else but you are the example so you're the mentor yes very well said freddie i like that now what about um as we approach the new years for 2016 do you have any new year's resolutions for yourself at all that resolution kills me that word kills me i'm so it's like overrated the resolution thing <laughs> uh-huh it's not any more resolution. You have to find the solution <laughs> for your problem. If you have a problem, because yes. if you call resol- like a, you resolving a problem that never got fixed before. So yes. you're carrying the problem every freaking year. Mm-hmm. Why? So you have to think about it. Like why I want to gain weight all this year and wait after New Year's Day and get into machine or into the gym and get my money wasting and go back to the same old same yo-yo effect, mm-hmm. you know, hamster, mm-hmm. it's so psycho and mm-hmm. vicious. It's so vicious. And just clear your mind and just go every day. Every day have to be like a little checkbook, like, this is what I'm going to do. And the small goals, you know, every day. And try to get your body used to uh, a certain, uh, no routine, uh, just movement every day. Mm-hmm. It can be either you sitting on, sitting on the chair in the office like everybody does in the corporation. That's why I work at Home Depot, you know, this big corporation. People, they sitting all day. Mm-hmm. So they forget. I'm, I mean, unconsciously. They just want to get it done, but they sitting. So you're flexing your body all the time without extending. Mm-hmm. Extension is so important than flexing. Mm-hmm. Flexing and extend different moves, you know? Otherwise, if you're not extending, you're going to get here. So you're shrinking. Mm-hmm. So that's why the people are tired and they need some kind of release, massage, dance. Um, that's my point. Um, just get people more aware what's going on with yourself. If you okay and happy with yourself, you're gonna be the same way with others around you. So it's just about uh, true to yourself, who you are, and see other people. They just share your energy, and you—they're gonna tell you. They're gonna tell you, hey. This is something wrong with you. <laughs> something, something is changing because otherwise, I mean, it's no bad thing. It's good, you know. It mm-hmm. will notice on you the change that you made already, you know. So just do something. <laughs> you live. You're a living creature. You have to do something for that. I, I, that's great, Freddie. That's very, very good advice. I love it. Now. Out of all the trainers and instructors at Family Life Center, you are the most enthusiastic, most energetic, exciting fitness professional there, and I commend you for that. Command me. <laughs> and Freddie, ah. Freddie, uh, if anybody's watching right now and they've picked up some good advice, they want to know more about you and learn about your services, and if you're maybe having personal training available, or if they want to take one of your classes. What's the best way for them to learn about you and to contact you directly? Well, the best way is just get with me on the field and try it right away. Okay. That's a good point, though. I, I want to extend a little bit. The people have the choice. <clears throat> they should have a choice to pick the right trainer for them. Mm-hmm. 
like if I'm gonna be a client, a customer, I would like to line up ten trainers, right? Or mentors. Yeah. I have to try each one of you and say, Oh, this is more appealing with me and he can work with me, mm-hmm. you know. So get to know each other mm-hmm. is important. Mm-hmm. Don't just throw me somebody that I don't really feel like. Mm-hmm. You know? Like he might not be more prepared, need more uh, uh, experience, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and or or his personality is not appealing to me, or is something off that he needs to work first. Yes, because as a mentor, you need to be really know who you are and be peace peace of mind and just share your knowledge properly. You know that's why you have a certifications. Mm-hmm. And this is another topic that we should t- have it because mm-hmm. for me, schooling, schooling can be life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's no certification. It's just the eager to learn from others and do your own research and get your own uh, uh, format or whatever you wanna show everybody. You know, so wisdom it comes with experience. So, yeah, they should just, um, like you, they can pick you because you are a fan and uh, outgoing person and know your, know your, uh, wh- whatever you do, you are very well known, you know, like they trust you because mm-hmm. then they know that you never hurt them, mm-hmm. but you're going to walk through, you know, whatever they, their <clears throat> goals is. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, uh, so they can try me <laughs> or reach me out. I got my website. It's Fit Peru, F I T P E R U dot net, and um, just go through my website and know a little bit about your trainer. You know, what's their background, uh, experience. I think experience counts like eighty uh, percent. Besides your personality, you know, and, and the way that you train people. The way that you speak, yeah. my English is not bad, but I try my best. Sometimes it's body language, which is is more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's very important just pick the right person to be around and learn from it. So you as a mentor, you know, because they you got followers. I got followers because they like it. They like you. They like me, and they expecting more from you Mm -hmm. so i think is yeah just pick the right one and just go for it very well said freddie there you have it that was great i really enjoyed this interview with you it's always a pleasure to talk to you and i thank you for your time out of the cabin there and talking to me and what are you going to do for the rest of the evening just take it easy and chill out oh i'm watching some videos uh, all this week, uh, I miss the watching those uh, spiritual uh, speakers. I like uh, absorbing like a sponge, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, and just watch some videos. They're really good. I was, I I might pass it on to you because they are really into fitness mm-hmm. and life yeah. in general. It can yeah. help you out in Please. some way. Definitely. Oh, and I I really encourage you to come to that circle because I think you we learn and they will learn from you too Mm -hmm. it's it's sharing our craft our skills and everybody's just lifting each other up and you're a father and your child is your child is gonna be a good creature in this world and make the difference that may you know the form of living more appealing and peaceful so you Thank you. Yeah, that's great. I appreciate it, Freddie. Thank you. Well, that was wonderful. I really enjoyed your time and uh, everything that we've gone over today. This is just a pleasure. So, Freddie, thank you so much again, and enjoy the rest of the trip there, and count me in on the next trip. I will be there. Oh, yeah. I will chase your butt and say, darling, stop right there. Let's come with me. I yeah. will. It'll be big wonderful. Big hugs. Big hugs. I appreciate you, and I think you are you're a very nice guy and just keep doing whatever you feel doing it 
be happy with it. Thank you. Be happy. That's a good mantra for the rest of this year. That's wonderful for England. Big hugs back. Big bear hug to Freddy. And uh, Freddy, thank you so much. You're the man. Hey, I will see you next week. All right. We'll see you next week, Freddy. Take care and be safe. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Awesome. Adios. All right. Hasta la vista. <laughs>